I find it troubling, but more importantly, I am sad that I am not surprised that we find ourselves examining another example of manufacturers' failure to fulfill safety obligations that could have saved lives. Honda is under investigation for failure to provide early warning reports to NHTSA related to the deaths the company has linked to Takata airbags. Takata itself is also under investigation by NHTSA and federal prosecutors over troubling claims that it might have known a long time before it notified its auto manufacturer customers of the public safety defects associated with millions of its airbags. Ten automakers have now recalled at least 7.8 million vehicles in the United States under either safety recall or service campaigns related to defective Takata airbags. What I want to try to get to the bottom of at this hearing is what is the difference and isn't that difference important? A safety recall versus a service campaign. There seems to be some confusion among the driving public about the scope and severity of these recalls. And part of that is because not all the manufacturers are treating this the same, using the same language, and we have failed to have clarity from NHTSA in this regard. In this committee's Consumer Protection Subcommittee, we have held three auto safety hearings since General Motors recalled 2.6 million vehicles earlier this year for a defective ignition switch that was largely ignored by the company and federal auto safety regulators for more than 10 years. Sadly, I think today we will hear many of the same themes we heard in the GM investigation, an industry that fears no consequences from not complying with the law, companies more focused on defending against private litigation than promoting safety, and a regulator that lacks both the resources and technical expertise to effectively do its job. I'm confused, and I guarantee if I'm confused, your customers are confused. The letter that Chrysler sent to NHTSA on June 20th, 2014. I'd like these three letters to be made part of the record, uh, Mr. Chairman, if we could. Um, listen to this paragraph. Although Chrysler has not at this time made a determination of a defect in the subject airbag inflators, it is Chrysler's intention to conduct a field action to replace the driver airbag inflators between June, four, da, 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 as well as the passenger airbag inflators between da, 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 da. So, I'm guessing a lawyer wrote that paragraph because then I have a letter from Honda that says, we've determined a potential defect relating to motor vehicle safety exists. Um, that was written in 2008. And then we have another letter from Honda in 2014 saying, we've decided to conduct a safety improvement campaign. We have not made a determination that a safety defect exists. Then you go down the list of the, the, the notifications, and I'm going to start in June of 14. We have a service campaign, then a service campaign, then a Honda safety recall, and then a Mazda service campaign, and then a Mitsubishi service campaign, then a Nissan safety recall, then a Nissan service campaign, then a N Nissan safety recall. Then we have a Subaru safety recall. Then we have a Subaru service campaign. Do you, you, you understand the issue here? What's going on here is a refusal to characterize a problem in a way that is clearly understandable to the consumer. We have been had more recalls in the last year and a half in the American car manufacturing and in the history of American car manufacturing, probably more in the last year than we've had in many, many years combined. The problem is, I don't think that people that are driving these cars understand the risk because you guys aren't even comfortable with being consistent as to whether or not you're telling NHTSA, NHTSA it's a service campaign or a safety recall. In your mind, Mr. Kunselman, other than avoiding litigation and liability, why would you differentiate between a service call and a, 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 a safety recall? Yes, Senator. I, I would like to start by saying it's Chrysler's policy that regardless of which way these actions are initiated or how they're characterized, recall or serv field service campaign, the customer facing information is identical. We profile the same information with NHTSA and the mailings that go to our customers are the same. And the so do the mailings say that this is a safety recall and you are in danger and you need to get this car in? Or does it say, um, this is a notice that this has been, this part has been recalled without any 
emphasis on safety. It's my understanding that it does characterize it as a safety concern, yes. Well, I would like to see, for all of those ones that involve your companies, all the service campaign versus safety recall, um, I would like to see the notices that went to, to, to your drivers. Okay. I would like to see the language of those. And if, in fact, the language isn't the same that goes to the drivers, why is the language different to NHTSA? I, I guess the characterization, it, we, in terms of uh, how we characterize these events, again, Chrysler is agreeing to do this with one incident and a lack of understanding of root cause. I know this will sound like engineering terminology, but uh, the thing that is still open in this instance with these beta inflators is an absence of a defined root cause. In absence of a defined root cause, it, it, it makes the, the next steps difficult in terms, to, in terms of what to do. I think this is a nuance of definition as to why you see these characterized this way. And Mr. Shostak, do you say the same is the reason that there's a difference in characterization to NHTSA? Is, is your notification to your drivers identical as to whether or not it's a service campaign or a safety recall? Yes, Senator. I think th there is confusion here. And the, the regulatory framework that we're operating under has certain terms that are part of that regulatory framework that, uh, that we are using. I'm not an engineer. I've asked the very same question you have asked. What's the practical difference for the customer? The, the practical, and, and I've been told none. Let, they need to bring their car in. Now, behind, in, in terms of how we're looking for uh, more evidence of, uh, of risk and so forth, that, that should be the manufacturer's responsibility, working with suppliers and working with NHTSA. But, uh, Senator, I would, I would support, if we could make this clearer for consumers, Honda is happy to work with. Are you, are you sending the same notification to your drivers, whether or not it's a safety recall or whether or not it's a service campaign? Uh, Senator, I, I would like to double check, but I believe there are very similar notifications, whether it's a, a service campaign or a safety recall. Our, our interest is to tell that customer to please come, please call, please come to a dealership, please get the part replaced. Whether that replacement is for the purpose of an identified defect, which is the recall, or the purpose of getting more information, which is the uh, safety improvement campaign. I think we should help the consumer by not having it be so, uh, so unclear to them. Well, I, I tell you what, if I get a letter saying we're investigating something, would you bring your car in so you can help us? I'm busy. If I get a letter that says, hey, you know, if you drive this, you could have a piece of shrapnel embedded in your eye. If, you're, if, if, you're, if your daughter isn't sitting in the, in the seat next to you, she could be blinded or you could die. That's a lot different than, hey, we're checking out an investigation. Could you bring it in so we could check it out? I mean, I think that too many lawyers are in, I mean, we found this in GM. As you all know, you had to have followed it closely. There were lawyers in, that were trying to avoid litigation. There were not lawyers that were trying to make sure every consumer knew the danger. And we have got to get out of this defensive crouch about liability litigation and get into an offensive position about making sure drivers are safe. And until your companies decide to do that, until NHTSA is a more able and aggressive partner in that, consumers are going to be in the dark.